Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Tomodachi Life. We're here on In the Little Island today, and it looks like somebody is down at the beach. Or at least there's some kind of icon at the beach. Oh, Schmidt, what are you doing? Schmidt? Schmidt, hey! Schmidt! Over here! Schmidt! Oh! Can you hear me? Can you, no? Can't hear me? Just carry, okay, just carry on digging your hole. We'll leave him to do that for this afternoon then, everybody. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what he's up to. We've got an event over at the fountain. Is it the Daily Deposit? Yeah, it is. Look, there's Sips and Kai and Upton Girl and Love God and his Levda Hosen. <laughs> We've also got Schmidt out the back as well. Oh, look at that. We collected $45. That's good. We can buy stuff for everybody at that rate. So let's go over to the new place, the Observation Tower. Schmidt was bigging this up uh, in yesterday's episode to the news. Oh, there seems to be nobody here right now. Well, that was a waste. All right, let's go over to... There's something else going on at the fountain. Who's there? Oh, it's me. All right. Okay, well, what the hell do I appear to be doing? Just doing my squats. I can zoom in. I can pan the camera around. I can zoom out. Is there some kind of event going on at the moment? Uh, we've got the word chain battle. Oh, sorry, we've got the word chain at half five to half six. So if it's on real time, that's not for another hour yet. Oh god, I need to come back at seven to do a rap battle. I will one of these days film at actually seven o'clock, so I can do one of these things. Uh, we've got all the shops, but I think first we should go and add somebody new into the apartment building. So let's make it brand new me. I'm going to create one from a photo, and I already know who it's going to be. I looked at all your comments yesterday, and there was one name that came up quite frequently, actually. Um, and I'm actually going to create this person now. I, I assume they have, like, brown eyes, maybe? Let's go for brown. That works. Uh, hair colour is also dark brown. Select hair style. Right, now this person has like... I don't know, it's, it's, it's quite curly, isn't it? It's quite big and curly hair. I'm talking as if you already know who this person is. Uh, let's have a look around at some of these hairstyles. It's quite large sometimes. Do they not do curly hair? I think they only really do like... Like... Spiky and flat kinds. Uh, no, this is all the lady hair. Let's go back to the start. Let's see if anything looks like it. No. Ah, oh, it's a shame you can't pick up hairstyles from the from the picture that you take. Uh, I guess that. Uh, yeah, I think that's the closest we're going to get to quite curly hair and quite a lot of it. So I'm going to go for that. And let's see if you can work out who the person is already. If not, you're about to find out. It is... Oh, no. Oh, balls. I pressed back. There we are. I want to make that picture bigger. And it is... Mr. Nerdcube! Take! There we go. Yeah, so like you can see, the hair's not the greatest. Hopefully it picks up on the fact that he's wearing glasses. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Let's see what we turn out with. Turn out with what? <laughs> okay. Okay, alright. So it mistook glasses for being very, very dark eyes. But I actually quite like the default one. I think the default one is the closest we're going to get to that. So let's go for that one. We do need to pop some glasses onto him though. So let's try and find some of those. Unless there are any better eyes for Dan. Um, oh yeah, they look way better. Yeah, let's go for that. Can we have a little mustache on him? Is that a thing? Because Dan has got a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a stash in his picture. No, that looks... <laughs> the stash isn't going to work. Okay, in which case, let us grab some glasses. Where are they? Uh, where would they be? Face accessories, I guess? Yeah, there we are. Uh, they are quite square, aren't they? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Can I move them up the face ever so slightly? Oh, look at that. That's Dan if I ever did see him. So his name is Daniel. I'm doing this all in lowercase just because... Uh, there you go. And his surname is Hardcastle. If that, I'm pretty sure it's Hardcastle, right? I'm trying to remember it from the uh, from the rap that Dan Bull did for him. Uh, and then I'm going to put Nerd Cubed. Oh, that might just fit, actually. Yes. Yay, Nerd Cubed. All right, he is a grown-up, although he doesn't act like it half the time, and that's why I like him. Uh, there you go, good. And, ooh, uh, energy. Uh, I'm going to go for quick. He's very quick-witted. Uh, caring and direct. He can be quite direct and blunt. I'm going to go all the way to the end for that. Facial expressions. Uh, I haven't really seen his face, so let's go down the other end. Um, and mood. Uh, very light, all the time light. And overall, he's a very, very unique person. And confirm. And this me is totally fine. Let's see what we end up with. There he is. 
He's an extrovert. He's extremely enthusiastic, wants everybody to join in and have fun, but can be a bit too pushy. Oh, okay. Well, apparently that's a thing. And then he comes. Now, a lot of people did say that I have to keep talking to, um, I have to keep talking to Upton Girl until she wants to tell me that she's fallen in love with me. So let's go see her. Let's keep visiting her until she cracks. She she won't be able to handle the pressure. Hello. Sorry, but do you think I could be a little... Oh. What? Is there something on my face? This is romantic. I'm not just going to pull her fringe aside. I'm going to touch her hair. There's a leaf on your head. Oh, <laughs> that face. Of course I can, Upton Girl. Let me move that leaf for you. Oh, how romantic. Looking deep into her eyes. Is she happy now? Oh, did we get a little bit of money for that? I think so. I have feelings for love God. I've got to tell you. Oh, my God, yes. She finally said it. All right. Kids can fall in love together. Grown-ups can fall in love together. Help Upton Girl make the right choice. I'll help you. How should oh. I tell them? You should, um, you should act desperate. Wow. I think you should, you no, know, be cute. Be cute. I where should say, I tell them? Oh, where should you tell him? I think you should tell him, not in a classroom. I don't like classrooms. On the tower. Oh, that's going to be good. This is going to end up like an episode of Gossip Girl. They're going to meet at the top of the Empire State. It's going to be romantic. Should I get changed first? Um, mm, no, you shouldn't change anything about yourself. He should love you for who you are and what you wear when you're cleaning your apartment. Okay, I'll get myself ready and then go do it. Okay, only problem is, he's not up on the tower. Nobody is. Oh! Oh, damn. Okay, airplane, bit disruptive. I think I've got feelings for you, love God. Ah. So, what do you say to going out together? Whoa, that's a bit forward. You even ask him if he likes you back. Sure. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I guess so. Whatever. Yeah, want to be a girlfriend? Okay. You're a world-class model. Sure, that seems fine. Oh, Upton Girl's beside herself. You got a boyfriend. You got a boyfriend. It went like a dream. Oh, Love God and Upton Girl are hooking up. Look at that. Fantastic. All right. Okay. Uh, well, seeing as she... Let's see phrase. Let's teach her how to say she loves love God. Oh, wait, wait. What's this? Oh, what would you like to hear? I can just tell her anything. Um, I love love God. Here we go. And that fits. Fantastic. Gesture. It's going to be a smiley one. Happy. What of ones have we got to choose from? Oh, there's just only happy ones. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Nothing's going to beat that. I'll go for that. All right, let's give that to you. You can declare your love to him atop a mountain if you'd like to. Or maybe just on top of the tower. I love love God. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, some stomach medicine. All right. It's random. There we go. Oh, somewhere news popped up. Coming to you live for me news. Some breaking news just in. Oh gosh, she's going to tell everybody. The interior shop has made a grand opening and answered the wishes of many islanders. Oh no. <laughs> Customers should be able to find any kind of room they want here. The shop has a range of interior styles to answer many complaints that living in the same old room was too boring. New rooms are on display every day, but purchased interiors remain in stock. Thanks for watching. And you stay classy in the little island. I thought she was going to do a Ron Burgundy then. I thought she was going to announce that she was madly in love with Love God on the uh, on the news show. What? Oh, more things. Coming to you live from me news with Sips. Some breaking news just in. It took five years to build, but the theme park named Leisure Island is finally open. Oh, fantastic. Leisure Island is fitted out with an amusement park, cafe, and a park. Daniel Hardcastle, the brains behind Leisure Island, oh, said, no. Oh, we no. got all our ideas from different oh, no. theme parks, so it should literally knock your socks off. Oh dear. A very confident promise indeed. However, some attractions are guaranteed to draw large crowds on weekends and holidays. Uh oh. Thanks for watching. I'm a little bit worried about this. Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever seen Dan play Roller Coaster Sim and other games like that. Sometimes doesn't go so well. So the fact that he set up an entire an, an entire theme park 
is worrying me a little bit. I don't want the, so the story to end in tragedy, so I'm never going to send Love God and Upton Girl over there on a date. Or at least not until we've had Schmidt maybe spec the place out. But I reckon I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. As always, in the comment section below, let me know who you would like me to add to the island next. And I always pick them from the last episode that went out. So if you've already commented on a previous episode, it's got to be the latest one. I'll pick somebody new. We'll see how the story develops between uh, our two lovers and our brand new theme park owner next time. Bye-bye!